Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk a little bit about Cillian Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket, and uh, kind of looking at the surrounding areas a little bit as well. Um, so what we're looking at here is a marine traffic map, um, as well as I've added a layer uh, to show the ports and marinas. Um, so you want to become very familiar uh, with the marinas uh, on Cape Cod, uh, as well as uh, Martha's Vineyard in Nantucket. And you can kind of see um, that there's also these things called ports. Um, sometimes you cannot dock at the ports, um, but uh, uh, there's maybe marinas in the area that you can uh, dock at. So this is primarily for sailing. Um, so uh, I'm going to look at some of the bathymetric images as well and kind of see uh, what we can see in terms of uh, where, you, where it's possible to sail to. Uh, so on this map, you can kind of get an overview for where it's possible, um, and basically it's a Navionics map. Uh, I'll post it in the description, um, and you can kind of see the, the various levels of depth. This is a kind of a zoomed out version. There's another free one uh, from iBoating, uh, and you can kind of use that as a guide as well to see um, about what the depths are, uh, if you prefer, but I kind of like the Navionics one. Um, there's also one uh, from the bathymetric data, but you have to select the options here and then do uh, uh, NOAA Electronic Navigation Charts, ENC, um, and then you can get some of the depths as well. Um, and then, of course, there's the marine traffic, but it doesn't have the depth. So this is primarily for sailing. So I'm just going to look at some of the major ports here. Um, so uh, basically, you can see that Hyannis is pretty much one of the most major ports on Cape Cod as well as Provincetown. Um, so those are the two big ones uh, just based on the ship traffic and then you can kind of see uh, here Egertown being a big one and then uh, also here you can see uh, Nantucket Port um, being a pretty big uh, docking point too. So, um, But in terms of marinas and where you can dock you have to look at um, some of the newer charts. So what I have here is this is a link to show um, the paper charts. It's the Office of Coast Survey uh, and you can get this little link where you can pretty much select on what you want um, and then get a chart for that. So I got those opened up here so you can see but this is the major chart um, and then they got these little purple descriptions. So you got to read the purple descriptions for where to anchor um, if you're interested in anchoring. Um, and then also there's, uh, this is kind of like the lower cape and then the upper cape. So they don't have it really quite listed on the same, uh, it's hard to read some of these charts. So unless you grab both of them, so they don't really have it centered around Cape Cod, but it does have uh, kind of a Cape Cod Bay pretty accurately here for you. And then many of the nicer spots to sail uh, are on the South Cape uh, because of the uh, highest Bay here you can dock in pretty easily and then also the Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard. Uh, so what I'd recommend doing is taking a look at this chart here. Um, you can add the layers and what you do is you add the marinas here and then you can add ports. You can also add the ships. Uh, if you want to add the ships you can do that here. I'll show you what that looks like. Ship type. You just enable all fishing boats and we'll do a live plot of the boats that have uh, transponders on them. Um, but sometimes it's a little bit uh, hard to see the marinas. So if you want to see the marinas, this is what you can do. You can call them up. Um, and they even have that on the Navionics chart. So if you zoom in more here, so I'll just show you the Hyannis Port uh, Marina. You can zoom in here. And these little uh, docking stations, sometimes they have gas there. Um, and then you can kind of zoom in on each one of these marinas and see exactly what's going on. Um, and then they can tell you some details. Now, some of these show anchorages, so you can see anchors here. So those are possible pot spots to anchor your boat. And it's always the low tide zone, so sometimes two feet it might be way too little for a sailboat um, to dock, but maybe nine feet would be okay. Um, but doesn't show anchorages possible there, but there's an anchorage right in here that looks like it's possible. Um, so for Hyannis and the Lewis Bay here. So uh, most places on Cape Cod you can see you have to stay a good mile off of shore. 
um, to be in the 15 feet range. So that's pretty safe there, but you want to be at least maybe a couple miles um, because there are some reefs and some little rocky points in here that you have to be careful of. Um, but you can see, so you can see like low tide four feet here, and that's even a mile off of shore. Um, so sometimes you got to be a little bit careful uh, on the South Cape. Uh, so the other interesting spot to dock in here is in Provincetown. So I'm just going to zoom in uh, in Provincetown and show what that looks like. And then we're going to zoom in and see where the marina is and the docking points. Um, so you can see they have special anchorages out here, and this is kind of where the marina is for Provincetown. And then uh, they have the, you know, but it's it is pretty shallow in, in here, so you gotta be careful. But it gets pretty deep too, or back in here. Um, you can see around 63 feet for most of these anchors, anchorages, and then you can maybe go a couple miles in just to dock overnight or something like that. Um, but there's a lot of shelter here. You can see from the wind. Usually the wind will come up from the north um, and uh, blow this way, So, uh, but it does protect you from the big waves uh, off the ocean. Um, uh, so next I'm going to look at the islands here. So there is a nice little spot down in uh, uh, Woods Hole as well that you might want to be taking a look at uh, from Marina, but Egertown is a pretty popular place. Um, as you can see here, there's a lot of traffic. Um, basically from Falmouth over to Egerton, um, and then also from Hyannis over to Nantucket and so on. Um, but I'll zoom in here so you can kind of see what's going on. So this is the, you can see there's a marina here and here, but this one probably has a better um, reach. But I'll go in on the Navionics chart so you can see the depths. Um, so Egerton is right in here. And you can see that the depth looks pretty good in here. So. It's not too bad. Um, other places you might have some more trouble back in these other marinas. Um, but uh, it's a pretty big little port here. Um, and you can kind of see some of the streets. And, uh, so they do have some anchorages out here, which look pretty good. And then as well in the inner bay, which is great. Um, so, and then you can see there's a yacht club, Egertown Dock, uh, Egertown Moorings. And then some pretty good anchorages here right off of uh, the coast so you can just uh, you don't have to go that many feet in you know maybe 500 feet a uh, thousand feet away from the dock so you can get in pretty easily um, there uh, uh, so we we're just looking at uh, Egerton back in here so the main docking point here um, is right in here and it's a lot more difficult on the Nantucket um, in terms of getting into these docks um, just because it's got very shallow. You can see like one foot here, so you got to stay really close in with the channel if you're sailing in here uh, on low tide. Um, you know, it's just they had to dredge this uh, pretty carefully. So you can see these buoys are pretty tight. That's about um, less than a tenth of a mile. Um, so you can, once you get into here, it, it's got a little more depth, um, but still, um, the docking points, you can see some general anchorages, so it's pretty easy to anchor in here, because you've got 10 feet or so water, which is not too bad, but um, you can see, you got to kind of stay out of the way from the major boats, on the ferries coming in here, they kind of swing in here, I stay by the buoys, away from the buoys, maybe. So you got an anchorage here. Uh, so some of the other places you might consider anchoring in is at Plymouth, also in Boston, um, and then also here out in New Bedford or even Rhode Island. So those are all fairly close to um, as options. Um, and then also you do if you're going to sail through the uh, Cape Cod Canal, you got to really time that with the uh, current. Uh, and uh, you know, phase of the tide, so there's certain hours that you just you can't even motor beyond. You can't motor up the wrong way when the tide is going the wrong way. So, um, but uh, if you time it right, you can save you some time from going around. And there is really no docking points right along this uh, side. You can see here, there's nothing. It's just beach, um, but it is pretty. So, um, but in general, Martha's Vineyard's got a few docking points. Um, Nantucket's got that one here that looks pretty good. Hyannis has this, and then there's also the Woods Hole one, um, 
which I didn't cover, but you can take a look at that as well. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this study of the Cape Cod uh, sailing uh, and the depth charts. I'll post all the links uh, in the charts. Thanks a lot. Ciao.